Start Tape. Welcome back to Google Applications for Teachers. Today we'll take a look at different ways you can share your Google Calendar. Let's go ahead and click on Settings. Select Calendar. Choose the calendar that you want to share. And click on Share this calendar. If you haven't selected the box Make this calendar public, then make sure that you check it now. This allows others to be able to view the calendar on a blog, website, or just by clicking onto the URL for the calendar itself. Let's go ahead and click Save. Now go back to Calendar Settings and select the calendar that you want to share again. And then make sure that we're in the calendar details. Let's take a look at the options that we have. You can give a name for the calendar. And if you teach different courses, you may want to name each calendar according to that particular subject. You can give a description for the calendar for your students, and even identify a location if you'd like. Also, make sure you select the correct time zone. Now, if you want to email a link to the calendar, you can obtain the link by clicking onto the calendar address section under HTML. Note that no one will be able to view the calendar unless you've made the calendar public. Select HTML and copy the URL that you see right here. Google gives your calendar a specific web address that anyone will be able to access at a later time. If you make changes to the calendar later, those changes will be automatically reflect reflected by visiting the URL. Now let's just click on it to check it out. And there's a the calendar. Again, copy and paste the HTML link into an email. Then you can send it to anyone for them to view on their browser. Now, if you'd like to embed the calendar into a website or blog, you can copy and paste this code to the website or blog that you're using. Now, let's customize the display settings by clicking on this link. First, give the calendar a title. And select the information that you want to show. You can change the default view if you'd like by week, month, or agenda. I prefer to keep it in the month view since I'm a teacher. You can adjust the width and height of the calendar when it's displayed. You can choose what day of the week it starts at and even the language it displays. You can select a background color and I'll keep it as white for now. If you have multiple calendars, you can even select which ones you want displayed. Now, if you've made any changes to the setting, make sure you click on Update HTML. Copy the code and paste it onto your web page or blog. In a later session, I'll show you how to complete the process on how to embed the calendar to an external page. And that's it for now. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at the calendar notifications and reminders. Thanks and take care.